not derived from Aeliad, though I see a... Who's... Oh. Don't you know not to interrupt a sage when she's deep in concentration? I suppose the right master sent you to see how my research was coming along. I've listened to his memory over and over, and I examined every relevant tome I could find. Not yet. The master of the House of Reveries sent me his work. It relates to a similar language seen in the ruins of Eben Stadmont, but I only understand a little of it. I wish Lathan was still one of us. He was our language expert. Ancient languages and battle magic, to name just a few. Lathan betrayed us, and I don't trust him, but I've reached a dead end. We need help, and he's the best option I can think of. Take the notes and show them to Lathan. What do we have to lose? I'll let the Right Master know what I proposed. He may not like it, but he's always telling us to utilize every available resource. I think this qualifies. You'll find Lathan in Valserin's study. See if you can convince him to translate the words. I have no idea, but it's worth a try. I know Lathan and the Right Master were friends. I don't believe Lathan would purposely try to harm Ikesis. On the other hand, if Lathan thinks that helping us will help his cause, he'll jump at the chance. I suppose it had something to do with his daughter. Eldaway was a beautiful girl, smart, sweet, and full of energy. She brightened the entire island. When she fell ill, Lathan and Valserin grew apart. It was how they dealt with the tragedy. Don't you think we tried? The Right Master, Valserin, the entire Conclave. But nothing helped. She grew weaker and weaker, and then she was gone. Val threw herself into her work after that. Lathan just grew more distant. Only if you want to guarantee that Lathan refuses to help us. Haven't you seen them since they were reunited? Val wants to kill him, and Lathan hates her with a passion. They used to be so in love. Now it breaks my heart to see them like this. I have no idea, but it's worth a try. I know Lathan and the Right Master were... Interesting. You weren't this attentive when our daughter actually needed you. Lathan, I... Oh. I need to go check on the knight anyway. Val, wait! Damn it. By the spinner's holy webs, when did I become an insufferable ass? Valserin didn't deserve that. Yeldaway was her daughter too. Why am I talking to you about this? I know it isn't because I like you. Because I really don't. Is this some new attempt at interrogation? If so, I'm not familiar with the technique. Very well, I'll play along. Yes, I am a master linguist, specializing in ancient and obscure languages. Why do you ask? Intriguing. I've never seen this dialect before. I can translate it, but I need more to work with. I need to examine the original tablets found at Eben Stadmont. That will never happen, of course. You do remember I'm a prisoner here, don't you? According to those notes, the writing is carved into a massive stone. I doubt you'd be able to carry it back here. All right. You've piqued my interest. Use this rune when you reach Eben Stadmont, and I'll be able to see what you see. Nothing nefarious, if that's what you're asking. 
Just enter the forest, find the obscure language, and use the runes so I can see what you see. It won't do anything beyond that, I assure you. According to the scribblings of this grand maestro forte, Spinner's Web, that's a pompous title, the forest is a maze filled with all kinds of beasts and daedra. As to the reason why, who can say? Sometimes a cursed wood is just a cursed wood. I don't see how that's relevant to our interactions. Not in the least. Still, my words were spiteful, meant to hurt her. There was no need for me to open old wounds. But why does this concern you? I'm your enemy. Are you too dense to see that? Wherever could that blasted mercenary be? It's almost... I can feel the powerful magic that permeates this place. I sense a Daedric influence, but something that's far older than my Prince Mathala. The Maestro's note said the ancient words were etched into a massive stone. I expect you'll need to travel deeper into the forest to find the exact location. I can't translate the words the right master heard until you find that stone. I'm not your tour guide. Just pick a direction and start walking. Wait a moment. The Maestro's notes. There was a passage that might help. Something about crows. Maybe that would be enough to guide you. Refer to the book and use the rune again when you locate the ancient writing.
ancient inscription. You found it. Something isn't right. I feel... Our connection breaking up. It's Nocturnal's Earl. Now that Lathan's gone, we can talk freely. These words of power, they aren't meant for mortal eyes. As an Earl in the Court of Bedlam, believe me when I say that Lathan isn't being totally honest with you. I wish to maintain the balance of power among the Daedric Triad. If Lathan translates this language and passes the secret onto his mistress, Mafala, she'll gain an advantage that could threaten my prince, Nocturnal. Speculate all you want. I'm here to present you with a gift. Nocturnal wants me to provide you with the meaning of the ancient words. It's in all our best interests for the right master to remember where he hid the heart of transparent law. The phrase the right master remembers, the one that repeats itself over and over. It's a spell to retrieve something hidden. When the time is right, he just needs to repeat the phrase and the heart's hiding place will be revealed. My mistress doesn't explain herself to me, and she certainly won't explain herself to you. I assume though, since the heart was hidden by the right master, then only the right master can retrieve it. Arteum is only as isolated as it allows itself to be. First, the Abyssal Pearl allowed the Sea Slowed and Mafala to invade the Sidjic Island. Then you took Lathan, an Earl in the Court of Bedlam, prisoner. We know your moves before you make them. Our princes plan to do away with the laws imposed by other powers. They want to remake Nern, reshape it to better suit their every inclination. Of course, to do this, all obstacles must be cast aside, including the other Daedric Princes. The court isn't evil. We wouldn't be a part of something that didn't add to the greater good. When our Princes are done, war and sickness will be eradicated. There will be true peace and godhood for the court, as befits beings of our stature. I am a Dark Elf. A child of Morrowind who lost her way. Anger and despair almost overwhelmed me, until Nocturnal reached out to comfort me. The Night Mistress filled me with new purpose, and gave me something greater than myself to believe in. While it's true that the court consists primarily of High Elves, who believe their birthright is the key to godhood, I am not so naive. Nocturnal selected me as her Earl. She taught me that loyalty is the path to ascension, and my loyalty is strong. Our princes plan to do away with the laws imposed by other powers. They want to remake Nern, reshape it to better suit their every inclination. Tell the right master, it's a spell of retrieval. I've re-established my connection to the rune. Tell me what Nocturnal's Earl said to you. I can't believe Nocturnal's Earl interfered like that. We're supposed to be allies. Why would she want to stop me from reading that ancient inscription? A spell. Interesting. And somehow connected to the Right Master's forgotten hiding place. I wonder why Nocturnal decided to share this information. She isn't usually the most forthcoming of the court's esteemed princes. Right. I told them to interrupt my research before I could unravel an ancient and powerful language. Look, you should come back to Kapura Tower now. The Right Master wants to hear everything my associate shared with you. And frankly, so do I. I just wish I could have spent a few moments studying that inscription.
Oriandra, you should have consulted me beforehand. She saw an opportunity and she took it, Tychesis. Silence, Lathan. Need I put you in chains to remind you of your status here? I'm sorry, right, Master. We should have asked permission. It won't happen again. This escapade of yours could have been disastrous. What were you and Oriandra thinking, trusting Lathan to help us translate the ancient language? Now nothing you discovered can be trusted. We're back to square one. I observed what I could through Lathan's connection, but it seems to me that the Court of Bedlam is just trying to confuse us. What do you think? Should we trust Nocturnal's Earl or not? As much as it pains me, I must concur. We'll just have to make sure that once we recover the heart, it isn't allowed to fall into the hands of the Court of Bedlam or their princes. Darian's outside. Talk to him, then meet me in the Dreaming Cave. No matter whether Nocturnal's Earl spoke truth or lies, we need to recover the heart of transparent law. I'm sure I hid it somewhere beyond the Daedric Barrier. Was there anything else before you go and check on Darian? I remember I tried to resist the Sea Sloat's compulsion and was able to maintain a sliver of control. But as for a revelation spell, where would I acquire something in such an obscure language? And whose voice do I hear echoing in my mind? I remember... I remember using what control I still possessed to foil Katora's plans. I recall forging a bargain with someone, someone I have no memory of. I remember that it was the only way to assure the heart's safety. That, my friend, would be a mistake. Somerset's ancient defenses have withered since the Transparent Law crystal was broken and the heart removed. Every moment the Crystal Tower remains incomplete, another protection falls away. I'm sure that it is. But in that certainty, we gain an advantage. You'll be at my side when we locate the heart, and you'll be there to help me defend it from the Court of Bedlam and their princes. Your wounds, they're just gone. I've always healed fast, Val. I can call you Val, right? Give me a moment. I'd like to chat with our friend. Of course. Then go to the Dreaming Cave. The Right Master's ready to begin. I wanted to thank you again for getting me out of Mephala's realm. It wasn't anything like I originally imagined. Oh, and I wanted to let you know that I was able to repair the Dawnbreaker. The sword's power should allow us to breach the barrier. No thanks to the Sigic healers. I thought they were going to slice me open to try to figure out what makes me... Well, me. I'm glad you stopped by, though. I wanted to talk to you. In private. This might sound like a strange question. In fact, depending on how you answer it, it is a strange question. Do you... Do you remember me? I'm not talking about here in Somerset. I mean, from someplace else. You don't remember me? I was afraid of that. Meridia told me that time worked differently in Oblivion, but I didn't believe her. What's happened to me hasn't happened to you yet. That doesn't matter now. What matters is I found you. Meridia told me about the triad of Daedric Princes. And she told me about you. Even sent me to help you defeat them. Of course, she conveniently forgot to tell me how to do that, and she stopped responding to my requests. Has me a little worried. Not everyone gets a choice about the battles they fight. 
My prince... She's all right, but she's not big on free will. I wanted you to know that you aren't beholden to a higher power. You can decide what you want to fight for. Fixing the Dawnbreaker was surprisingly easy, by the way. Especially considering that I had never repaired a Daedric artifact before. Questions? Not like a test or anything, though, right? Tests give me a rash. But sure, yeah, what would you like to know? I wish I knew the answer to that. I remember my father well enough, he was a Breton, but I never met my mother. In fact, now that I think about it, my entire childhood is kind of a blur. I never questioned that. I'm not really sure why. Meridia only ever told me I was her vessel. I can't say I remember volunteering for that job, though. I have her magic inside me. I've had it all my life. I can feel it. But why? I have so many questions. Who I am, what I am, why the amazing good looks and roguish charm if I'm just here to stomp on Meridia's enemies. I mean, I guess if I was a prince, I'd want a dashing champion, so I can't blame her for that. Hey, I got stabbed a bunch, remember? You can't examine battle wounds with your armor on. Besides, this sea air is good for the skin. Ask anyone. Start without me! We're as prepared as we can be without knowing exactly where this pathway leads. I've even set wards that will help protect me from the Daedric Princes. Remember, though, our primary goal is to recover the heart of transparent law. The Golden Knight must wield the reforged Dawnbreaker to breach the barrier. Then we simply step through the portal and see where it takes us. I expect we may call upon your fighting skills before all is said and done. Are you ready to proceed? Sir Darian, deal with this barrier, if you please. My pleasure. The way is open. Let's go. I'll be all right, Malcerin. I expected the pathway to lead to some obscure corner of oblivion, but this is Nocturnal's realm. I wish I could remember what compelled me to hide the heart here. The heart is here, I'm positive. Now that I think about it, this location has a familiar feel. I've been here before. I just need to remember where I placed the stolen crystal. Take Darian and scout the path ahead. Look for any signs that might indicate where I hid the heart. Valserin will assist me and we'll follow behind you. As much as it pains me to admit, my many years are finally catching up with me. Be prepared for anything. This is Nocturnal's realm, after all.
Nocturnal's minions aren't exactly modest, are they? Not that I'm complaining. Did that bird just talk? You heard that, right? Pay the crows no mind. They're nothing but an annoyance. The crows serve as Nocturnal's eyes. She watches us through these annoying little creatures. There's nothing to do about it except to keep moving forward until we find the hiding place. I remember carrying the heart of Transparent Law along this path and up toward the mountain above. I remember Nocturnal's creatures moved aside to let me pass. Obviously, they aren't as accommodating as last time I was here. I don't see any alternative, do you? Perhaps more memories from when I was last here will return as we continue along the path. Clear the way ahead, if you please. Remind me to wear lighter armor next time we have to climb a mountain.
featherless one couldn't resist the sea slone, not on his own. Ah! What nonsense is this? He doesn't remember. So desperate he was, he leaped at our mistress's offer. Ah! Speak plainly, crows. Come back here. I cases. Calm down. Crows. Their words, Their words stir the echoes in my mind. Stranger and stranger. I remember fighting the sea slot's compulsion with every fiber of my being. And I was losing. I remember searching for something, anything, to keep me from giving Katora the heart. I remember Nocturnal appearing before me, offering to help me hide the heart away in a place that no one would ever find it. Then, let's keep going. Clear the path ahead while I try to recall the rest of the memory. Be ready for anything. path ends here. I remember this. My Jesus, what are you saying? I'm saying I remember taking the heart through that portal. With every step along this path, my memory grew clearer. This portal, it leads to where I had my fateful meeting with Nocturnal where she offered to aid me in my struggle against the sea slow Katora. Nocturnal offered me a spell that would hide the heart from everyone. The sea slowed, Nocturnal, even from me. As soon as I hid it away, my memory of even possessing the crystal faded like a distant dream. I assume so. Some of the details still elude me, I remember entering the portal with the heart, then returning here without it in my hands. Since I cast the spell with those ancient words, only I can use it again to unseal the hiding place. My preparations included numerous wards of protection. They should allow me to resist even the magic of a Daedric Prince, at least for a short amount of time. Through the portal, I remember an ancient ruin. Head for that, and we'll meet you there. Step cautiously. 
I remember very little about what lies on the other side of this portal. the words, but I don't know exactly what they mean. Once I begin the spell, be ready for anything. My friends, the heart of transparent law will soon be back in our hands. Heart, reveal yourself. Ganoro Beren. Your chest is glowing. Ijavil. Of course. I put the heart inside myself. It was the perfect hiding place. Look, Mephala. The mortal hid the heart inside his own body. How clever. Uh-oh. Mephala and Clavicus Vile. This could be bad. But why did Nocturnal keep this from us? No matter. I'll take the crystal now, right, Master? Uh, my wards shall protect me. Impressive for a mortal, but the wards won't hold long against our power. Tell me when to unleash Dawnbreaker's power. Mortal, you're only delaying the inevitable. Command me, and I'll use the sword's power. Fight, I cases. Just hold on. Daedra keep coming from. Promise me 
You'll lead them. Don't even say it, Hykesis. Just keep fighting. Dawnbreaker is ready. Just give the command. Him. Wait, what's the... Nocturnal, how dare you interfere? Get out of my realm, princess. You are no longer welcome. The heart belongs to me. We made a deal, didn't we, mortal? I cases? I did what I had to. I hid the heart, even from you. The only way to retrieve it is to kill me. <laughs> Very well. I accept those terms. No! We need to go. Now! Command me and I'll use the sword's power. Dawnbreaker will protect us. I hope. Meridia's vessel. You have no power here. I'll show you power, you monster. The sword of light. I'll take that. My sword! I just fixed that! The heart is mine. And soon the crystal tower will belong to me. I no longer need Mafala or Vile. Hold on! I'm getting us out of here! Valserin? Where's the right master? Nocturnal killed him. We couldn't stop her. This doesn't make any sense. What happened to the Right Master? I don't believe it. The Right Master, Aikesis, he's the best of us. Besides, I thought only he could reveal the heart's hidden location. I knew he was remembering things, but I had no idea he was so desperate. To make a deal with a Daedric Prince? Even to foil the sea load That was just... foolish. In retrospect, though, I might have done the same. How do we beat the Triad now? Nocturnal betrayed the other Princes? That's... actually, that's rather typical from what I've read. Without the heart, without the right master, what are we supposed to do now? I'm not sure there is another way. With the Heart of Transparent Law, Nocturnal can control the Crystal Tower. And with the Crystal Tower, she can... Well, I'm not sure why she wants the Tower. We'll need to consult a few experts about that. Grief does us no good unless we use it to focus our commitment. We need to rally our forces. It's time to turn this Daedric Tide before the waters of Oblivion overwhelm us. 
Thankfully, Sotha Seal returned while you traveled the Dreaming Cave. <laughs>